Hello my warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Flashpoint Rogue Tech. Today guys, we are playing a bunch of new missions, but first of all, we have to repair our stuff. Last time we got two crits on both of our engines here, and uh, or three crits on two engines, that's actually what happened here. Therefore, we need to replace the Fusion Core and the XL engine on the Wolverine here. Um, I did already uh, sell some stuff that I didn't need anymore, basically just uh, equipment that was lying around that I thought it was not, not necessarily needed. So what we are doing now is um, we try to rebuild and then we try to play another mission. Now, we need a fusion core. Sadly, the only fusion core that I'm having is the 250, which means that the mech is a little bit underpowered, so it seems. Or under, under tonnage now. What we could do is... Uh, we could put a bit of back armor on the mech, uh, on front armor, that would give us uh, a little bit of tonnage, but it doesn't feel right, so I don't know what to do with that yet. The problem is that we have, uh, or we, we have a slot problem, right? But not a weight problem. How do we solve that? The heat bank is a nice to have, but what would we do with it anyway? Hmm. So if I took it out, I get um, one ton. And three slots that we could use for single slot items. I don't know what to do. We have a tag and a tagger. I mean, that, that's a thing we could do. But at the same time, we would also lose heat management. And our heat management is already pretty bad. I'm thinking... I am thinking... Uh, endosteel. Taking out endosteel is not possible. I'm thinking about mm, bringing or losing medium lasers. And putting in something bigger something like maybe even medium pulses so what if we did that three laser damage one heat accuracy crit five laser damage five heat hmm hmm now heat is a problem on our mech as i was saying and we take the pulse here okay and now we are almost on tonnage we could leave it like that Takes us six days to repair. 1.149 million. Ah, that's because of the engine. Of course. Of course. But I want the mech. I need it. Definitely, definitely need it. Oh, wait, is there any e-cooling that we have? Extra cooling? No, wait, it would be here. No, we don't have that. We have a clan double heatsink. We could technically take for two regular heatsinks, but it wouldn't make a difference. Um, no. I think... I think this is how we roll. I mean, we would save another ton if we would take out two heat sinks and put a clan heat sink in here. But we wouldn't gain any additional slots, that's the problem. What would we do with the ton? Another pulse laser? Maybe. Do we go for another pulse laser? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's how we roll, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Confirm this. And we are about to get bankrupt again. Damn. Okay, so we need to sell more stuff, actually. I'm thinking about my urban mech, my little friend here. Nearly broke, Commander. I really I really wanted to build that thing together, but at this point, it is, it is not possible anymore. Okay, guys, let's repair our stuff. The financial report is kicking in in 14 days. Means we also need some money for that thing. Oh, wait, maybe we can play around that. Mm, 12 on the Marauder, 5 on the Dragon, but still 10 days for the next financial report. Okay, so we go back to the store and uh, struggle our way through our financial problems. Could sell the Hunchback. At the same time, the Hunchback is or would be an interesting melee mech. An interesting melee mech. What are our options? The Crab? Not that good. Actually, the crab is okay-ish as a melee mech. We could take it. Yeah, selling the hunchback now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Hunchback. You served me well, but now it's time for you to go. Uh, we're gonna test GV's idea. And he is in high spirits. Okay, that's pretty good. So, um, it was something uh, about some stabilization thingy for Dr. Murad. Alrighty guys, next mission's coming up soon. I've got the financial report. I also think I want to go ahead and wait for Sidewinder to be back in action. I think that's a good idea here. Job okay. Done, Two more days. 
And there we go. 230,000. We need a bit more for the next financial report. And we're gonna take a look at our Mech Warriors experience. Maybe we can get some more stuff on the guys and girls. Yes, Commander. Ah, uh, damn, 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 damn. The next thing is so damn expensive. Maybe I will go with this here, the overheat threshold bonus. Or maybe even the maximum evasion. Do we even get there? Overheat threshold, let's training go. Confirmed, Commander. We also Commander. take Mockingbird, doing the same. Mech warrior training yes, Commander. You are fine. I'm here. Buckshot still waiting for getting Warlord online. And that's how we roll. Oh, I want to play something like a two and a half mission. Recovery would be nice. Um, captured by Wolfian Patrol. Oh. Clan Max. What is that? Uh, Clan Wolf again, ambush convoy. Uh, that's a battle on one and a half scale. Also, also clans. Hmm. What about you guys? Destroy base, escort, escort, battle. Okay, what's that? Local government. We can probably fight local government, dudes. I think that's possible. But it's only... Wow, it's only 2 out of 9 salvage. So it might be that we just go for money here. It's a good way to bolster our Siebel balance a bit. But you know what? We're gonna take the easy mission first. I wanna play this 1.5 scale battle. We are going up against the wolf dudes. Uh, it's 4 out of 17 salvage. Let's see if we can somehow... What's that? Oh no! A double heatsink destroyed! We will do fine anyway. We're gonna repair that later. Yeah, it's okay. It's a one and a half scale mission, guys. I just need some money now! And uh, equipment at the same time. But I wanna get some experience on my Mac Warriors. I just wanna play some easy missions to redeem ourselves a little bit after the last disaster, if you wanna call it like that. Was actually quite hurtful. And after this, we're gonna play probably the three skull mission against the local government so that we uh, get some reputation back for the clan wolf. And um, it's, it's gonna be fine, guys. It is gonna be fine. We could also think about um, trying to go for the flashpoint missions. They are in the game, in the, in the rock tech uh, universe here. Nice flashpoint, just to mix it up a little bit. Why not? Why not? Something without consecutive deployments, something short for the start, where we uh, can repair between the missions, and um, it's actually a, ni a nice idea. I'm gonna check out where the flashpoints are right now on the map, and for the next episode, we can consider it. Okay. Here we go. Very good salvage. When going up against clans, it's always salvage. Always, always, always. Here we go. Good to go, Commander. Let's play a battle. Where are we? Smells like a trap. Okay. Heading out. Full ah, speed. We have to go through this little choke point down here. Oh, it seems they have reinforcements. They have reinforcements. Oh, damn. So if there is a um, full complement of Light What's clan max are all being super evasive. I have a have problem. No doubt, it will be Try done. to set up here in the forest and then uh, go from there. Hey. Uh, no, I want you to be down there. If you say so. Buckshot on the crab. Waiting for and order. Mockingbird on the big guy. Acknowledged. Very, very slowly. Okie dokie. Commander. Again, I'm pretty afraid of them having uh, reinforcements. Heads up, Commander. You've and they have. Contact. And they have. 11 ton vehicle? What the hell is an 11 ton vehicle? I have no idea. Samash. That thing is fast. It's running a lot of small lasers. It's no armor whatsoever. Okay. And it's extremely evasive, so it seems. Um, kind of. Okay. No, it's, it's not a big threat. Here's a Jenner. <laughs> Using breaching shot with a small pulse laser, so it seems. Okay. So far, so good. I'm obviously looking for... Whoa, what the hell? Oh, Narc Beacon, Micro Pulse Lasers, Small Pulse Lasers and ER Micro Lasers. Holy cow! That thing can actually melee. Oh, those weapons are great for dealing additional melee damage. Or damage when you are meleeing somebody. Interesting thing. What now? I mean, clans don't melee that much, but still. 
Okay, oh, here we go. Okay. Trying to kill the vehicle first because it's just a good target right now. And kapow. One guy down. Not much left of him. Not much left yes, of him. Commander. Okay. Roger. Our new dragon, by the way, has a large expulse laser and the rotary auto cannon. Let's fire. Firing. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, the large expulse was uh, not as strong as I expected. I, I mean, the guy was very Something. evasive, so it's that. Another guy on the, uh, on the top shooting my crab, though. The 35-ton mech, I think it was. Uh-huh. Whoa, we're white. Righty. Hello, a large pulse clan laser. And the medium pulse. Uh, so far we are fighting light max, but light max have the problem being so damn evasive. So I think what we're gonna do is taking out the tanks. They are easier targets. And I just hope that we are don't we are not getting hit by those stupid PPCs. Standing by. Okay. How accurate are you? 16%. Yeah, you better sprint here. Oh, 23. It's almost reasonable to shoot here. You know what? I'm gonna take my chances. Copy that, Commander. Okay. One of the lasers did connect. Such a great initiative. And I'm afraid of the micropulse laser vomit here. That is so damn crazy. Here he comes. Pew, 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 pew. Narc beacon attached. Damn, that's not good. Yep, yep, yep. Homing beacon is not a good thing to yep, have there. on your mech. It's good to bring it on the other mechs, on the enemies. Hmm. Hmm. 32% if I stand and shoot. If I move forward, basically the same. So there's not really a difference. Uh, although the medium pulse gets a bit better hit chance. Okay. I'm walking here. Here we go. Get the Jenna down, Roger please. That. Not what I wanted. Okay. Take okay. That. Problem is, the further they get uh, into my lines here, the more the injuries they get because of the micro pulse lasers. All right. Far no long range. Ah, I wanted to say no long range from the outskirts, but there came ATMs. Maybe. Hey. Buckshot. Can you kill the Janna? Okay. Please? Let's go. Do it. Okay. He is critical, but the damage spreads so much. I'm legitimately afraid water? of the Janna. So, so much. Then and shoot. That's what we do. You know what? We're gonna go with the wall of ability here. Target acquired is locked in. Give me the leg. No, but we have two crits on the core. That's and he lost evasion. Okay, so at this point, at this point, it's Confirm. it's okay. We're gonna kill him now with the Marauder. Seems like a large pulse laser coming from the outskirts. Might be another white. Yeah, it is another white. Problem is though. All of them are doing something now before my Marauder gets to do something. Uh huh. Crab is getting some damage. I mean, at the very least, the, the small light micro laser barrage here it spreads the damage like crazy. Oh, an error. Oh, look at that. Double ear PPC though. Oh, oh. Okay. Ouch. Mr. Crab's is sad now. Do they have a proper model for that already? Ah, oh, it's a little warhawk, but yeah, they will get there. Okay. Waiting for orders. Okay, the Adder needs to go and the Jenna needs to go. Both of them, quite scary Max. I can shoot all. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, no, actually the other way around. Um, we make it easier if we do just this, and I shoot one Gauss to the Adder. That's my laser vomit, man. Engine destroyed. 
Ooh, that's huge salvage then. And we have a side torso hit on the adder. Moving forward, staying in the woods, obviously. Okay. Adder has very bad initiative, so we can kill that thing. Ah, oh, it's cool! That's a nice mission. Although it's very low skull rated, uh, it's actually quite a challenge because they have a lot, a lot of individual mechs with dangerous weapon systems. Reaching shot. Makes sense. Okay. I live to serve. GV! Get the adder, please. Can I sprint? Oh yes, this is great. We can go in his side here. Double time. Uh, because I want to make consecutive shots to the side in order to destroy the PPC in the arm there. Got it. Ah, okay. So, there's one down. I think things are going he lost evasion, uh, he Don't lost you? initiative. Basically bound to die. What now? Enemies. Oh, the white jumping around. Going for the left side of the crab, which still has armor. Yeah. Oh, structure exposed though. Gotta go and uh, try to find cover with the crab because uh, they focus it so hard. Hmm. The hit chances are really, 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 really bad. It's okay. So we definitely have the knockdown. That hit some uh huh. Good. Which means we need like 15 damage. Oh, never mind. Uh, Omni Mac D strong. Is it Omni Mac? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm gonna put my mech in front of the crab and hope that they don't hit it that easy anymore. Uh huh. Those were uh, was the missile carrier, right? They've got a sensor lock on me. Yeah, that's fine. Please shoot the dragon. Oh my god, 60 ton mech. Uh, sorry, 70 ton mech. Uh oh. Nova cat? Yes, commander. Is this a Nova cat? Oh my god. I'd be so screwed if it is. That's a cougar up there. Ooh. Okay. Um. I don't know what to do against that. See? Hmm. Oh, that's difficult. I want to be here. Damn, this guy is so evasive. Why is he so evasive? I think I have to punch him. 24%, 25% uh, hit chance is also pretty bad. That's reserve. Um, right here. I wanted Mockingbird. Here we go. God. Let me sprint into his side. Somewhere? No? Okay. Standing and shooting. Warlord. Fire. Okay. He's almost unsteady, but it doesn't help us this round. Okay. Standing by. Standing by, I know. Here's what we do. Moving in. Uh, also using Vigilance. I want to keep my crab. Don't destroy it, please. Okay, so we have heat on the guy. Ooh, and GV can do f something first. Oh, that's really good. Because he's now unsteady. Alright, 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 alright. Going in his side. Do we need that? Are we going in his front? Light shot. Let's go. Knock him down, please. I want the pulse. Nope, I don't want the pulse. And there we go. He is on the ground. He also lost initiative thanks to the pilot injury. Ooh, good night, White. Try to avoid those guys on the right side as much as possible and deal with the Cougar first and the White. And then we see how we turn around and go, wait, to this side. Yes, Commander. Shot. Can you shoot? Yeah, Buckshot can shot. Santa Torso. Actually, the side also would have killed him. Because the pilot was down to one health. And, um... Try to get some distance between me and them. On my way. Okay. Reporting. Okay. Uh, 
How much sensor range do you have, little cougar? How much? Okay, pilot is incapacitated. I should have done it with the uh, crap before. I wonder if he can shoot me from there. Commander? Maybe I'm shooting him first because now he's quite steady, I believe. Okay, let's do it. I'm even going out of the uh, out of the forest here. Firing. Up down? Ah, not quite. Okay. Ah, now he's moving. Damn. Going for my dragon. Mm -hmm. Also shooting the LRMs. And we have a head hit. Oh, not good. Not good. <sighs> Difficult. I think I just saw a griffin. And I'm still worried about the 70 ton mech. What are you? Griffin 2C. ATMs. Oh my god. Heavy. Medium lasers. And two light tags. Okay. Why not? Why not? Um, could engage from the side for better hit chance. That's what I want to do. I want to also shoot everything and I want to warlord here. Light also destruction. Yes! Okay. So he's also down in initiative, he also lost his evasion, and that makes it so that we can easily kill him now. There comes the big guy. It's a warhammer. It is a freaking warhammer. Oh my god. A royal warhammer. Waiting for orders. Help, please. I mean, the, the warhammer is not that evasive right now. Hmm. Can I get direct line of sight to the hammer? Uh -uh. Not possible. I could just shoot him from here. Good. The hit chance is 60, round about 60, 58%. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Yep. Target locked. Okay. Started to deal some damage to the big guy. And his side torso is already damaged. Be good. What is his engine standard? Epona. Hyper Assault Gauss. Ooh. Also pretty nasty. Got a lock on me. And Sansa locking. Right here. Ooh, I want to use Buckshot to print in there. Using her large lasers to finish the job, hopefully. Go fast. Got it. Locking target. That's at least a leg. Okay, we need 9 damage on the other leg. That's good. And this guy has no initiative anymore and only one health left. Reporting. Seems to me that... Oh, damn it, a multi-target would be nice now. On... Eh. We... Maybe here? No, it's not possible. Come on. I, I want the multi... I mean... Seriously. No? We also have the Wolverine who can do that next round. Oh no, the uh, the Cougar would stand up. Yeah. Okay, you know what? In that case, we shoot the leg. I want to shoot the rocks. I understand. Let's hope for the best. Okay, there we go. I want to keep the rotary auto cannon quiet for the moment because I want to save the recoil. Um, uh, we move down here. Okay. As you wish. Backing off the stability. I'm your spaniel. GB. GB is not gonna. Ah, is he gonna do something? This guy is almost unsteady. He's turned 14. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, in that case, we just need. Like one, two, three points of initiative uh, of uh, stability damage. Got Our short range missiles are well set for that. Uh, we can shoot everything. Here it comes. Come on, come on, make him unsteady. Perfect. We also have our Marauder 2 there to follow up on that. Uh huh, the closer he gets, the more damage the ATMs do. Not cool. 
Spike damage. Target Holding acquired. Hmm. Ooh, on the upside. The Griffin is pretty hot. Oh no. Scary. Shooting only one laser. You can do that all day if you want. No problem. Alright, 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 alright. Buckshot. Yep. Buckshot going in. Trying to... Um... What's he trying to do? She's trying to do. I only want the flamers here on the griffin. I'm not too keen on the large lasers at the moment. So we shoot Copy. this. And the flamers. A bit of overheat damage. Only 10 though. Oh, that's okay. Standing by. It is okay. This looks good. Yeah. Here we go. Moving in. Uh, same thing here. Or similar thing here. We multi-target everything but the flamer. And try to get this guy off the battlefield. Ability check failed. Perfect. It gives him a pilot injury. Yep. And very, very bad initiative. He is now in turn Awaiting one. Orders. Means that Sidewinder. Now run forward. Mm hmm. Pretty relatively bad hit chance. Okay, I'm gonna take it anyway. Yes, Commander. Uh, we shoot regularly. Uh, I want to go for head. Oh, nice hits. Down to one health. So if we knock him down once more, uh, he's dead. We have a Warhammer on the ground. Hmm, interesting. Hello, Warhammer. Really hope that you don't hit me because your pilot should be so injured and you were just standing up. Is minor, and this hit is critical. That's also cool. Oh, one more head hit. GV is gonna do it. He has you. to. Come on, GV. Point blank. To the face. Let's go. On my way. Double time. On my way. Very good. You're gonna shoot all your free SRMs. Shot. Head hit. Yeah, we got it. Damn! Bam! Face plant. We have a Warhammer on the battlefield. Okay. Griffin now going melee. Don't care too much. He can shoot his light tags, but that's basically everything. Woof! He has a Warhammer! That's cool! That's a Warhammer! An incapacitated pilot in a Warhammer means Warhammer might be mine. Uh, the opponent is still dangerous. Yep, 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 yep. Hyper Assault. Okay. Okay, okay. So how do we do it? The Griffin is quite evasive right now. However... However, we try this. Moving to position. Moving to position. Okay, firing everything. Fire. 25 heat, not great, but Commander. okay. Tank needs to go. I'm dead. Okay, uh, multi target. Uh, Warlord as well. Okay. I just want to shoot the flamer to the griffin again. Gotcha. Wow! Double Gauss miss. Oh, that's not great. That is not great. I was really hoping that we could crack that guy open. In general, I have a feeling that our Negative lands damage. right now, Repeat. this mission damage. is relatively inaccurate. Yes, hmm. Hmm. Location acknowledged. What would the initiative of the guy be? It's pretty good. Do the same thing here. I want the heat. Um, I want the heat on the, the Griffin and the direct damage on the tank. Splitting fire on multiple targets. Okay, that's 52 heat. Pretty good. Right. A rotary auto cannon for the win. Damn, I need that hyper assault Gauss rifle on the dragon. It would be so good. But I need ammo for that. I need ammo for that. 
Reporting. One less vehicle. Okay. GV. Hmm. GV manages to get a head hit on the guy. I'd be very happy because then I could follow up. And I had had initiative again. Let's hope for the best. Nope. Not this time. Okay, the crab is still online. We got a bit of structural damage there, but nothing got crit. And now the griffin is shut down. Perfect. Right here. Okay. Uh, here's what we do, guys. I'm gonna shoot his side off. Why that? Because I want the griffin to um, get as much... Well, I want to destroy as much uh, or as many parts on the griffin as possible. Because I want to... Keep the, the salvage table as short as possible. Therefore, again, destroying everything. Just everything. All weapons are go. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. Mm -hmm. Critical hit, Commander. Okay. Why do I want the loot table to be so small? Uh, because I want the Warhammer. I want to see if we can get him. And we don't have five salvage. That's it. If we pick three parts... Then uh, we have to gamble on uh, two parts um, that we get randomly. And uh, the shorter the table, the higher the chances Mission. that we get it. That's the idea here. Okie dokie. One and a half skull, guys. That was a one and a half skull clan mission. And the opposing force was so damn overwhelming. That was tough. Really. But I'm pretty happy. Because... Uh, it's okay. We didn't lose anything. We have to rebuild the crab a little bit. And... And... Griffin 2C, no. Jenna 2C, no. Warhammer. Oh, we got four parts. Four prime... Um, yeah, priority salvage. Everything that we could get here is good. Everything. Except for the regular machine guns, maybe. Small laser. E-cooling plus one. Okay, nice. Um, but yeah, that's, that's very, very good stuff. <laughs> Gauss ammo. God, I love that. Wait, what? Two accuracy with all weapons, all ranged weapons. 50% chance to deal a crit. 30% to all ranged brackets. Minus 50% minimum range. Holy cow. What is that? I need the Warhammer though. That is such a great thing. Give me the Warhammer. One, two, three, four. Damn, only four parts. Okay, so what did we get? We have 45 million Siebel's value. A Cougar part, a white part. Uh, ER micro laser, ER PPC. That's also very valuable. Oh my god, this is an ER PPC here. Pretty good. Um, Dan large pulse laser. Pretty good. Dan medium heavy. Mm hmm. Done micropulse, a regular PPC, a case, double heat sink, and that is it. Ah, that's a very good targeting system for all weapons. It's especially good if you're running mixed builds, and you get 50% crit. And the important thing is the the range uh, buff and um, the reduction of the debuff, like the the minimum range, is crazily good. It's an amazing, amazing piece of equipment. But I wanted the warhammer. You know, warhammers. What more shall I say? At some point we will get our new max. We have so many parts of uh, individual chassis already. So, I think, if I remember correctly, we had some Warhammer parts. I'm not entirely sure if they will combine to, to, together. Um, not entirely sure if the Warhammer that we had earlier, um, if it was a special variant. But Yang will tell us. Okay. You are surrounded! No. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. We even get the SLDF Royal improved cooling thing. What? Oh crap! Oh crap! That is so damn good. Holy cow! All right, guys. Now we need money in order to build that thing. Oh. Boom the ball! Yeah, this is all completely destroyed here. Sadly. Um, can repair the PPCs. 
We have some lasers here. Takes us 18 days to repair only. But it's a Warhammer and it's a it's the one with the incre increased cooling. Improved cooling. Doesn't stay here now. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, armor and heat dissipation systems that have been upgraded to the Starlink standard. Okay, hmm. Super interesting. I'm gonna put the double heatsink kit in the mech already. I think we need something like a... 320 is probably too much of a fusion core. I mean, look at that, we don't have any weight left. Oh, we have the PPCs already. Okay. Hmm. We need something like... Lower arm actuators. Good. Um, we can take the XL gyro, probably, without a problem. Ah, uh, not XL. Um, yeah, XL. XL, right. Um, what we want is... Probably something like a light engine, but we don't have that yet. Targeting computer. Uh, yes. Big suite? No. God, what are we gonna do with that? How do we build it? It has no ballistic hardpoint. Oh wait, two ballistic hardpoints. In the arms, even. Ooh. Okay. Which mech do we replace with that? I feel the Wolvi is getting outdated. I have to say I like the crab. A bunch of energy hardpoints. Four. Uh, that's not that great. Okay. So, small laser is not gonna find its way into the mech. Hmm. So, two ballistics. Four energy, one missile. Two ballistics. Damn. What would we do with that? We have no good options right now. Could take the <laughs> the Rack 5 in here. Or we go all energy or something. Are we gonna see about that? First of all, we need to repair. Secondly, uh, we need to find more parts. Uh, this is a thing that I would do anyway. Double heatsink kit, XL or engine 320, why not? We're gonna do it like this. Okay. Here we go. We have a Warhammer. And a good one. Good, now we are in debt again. <sighs> Alright. So, light max. Uga, goodbye. White. Um... I don't care. Here we go. And now we're gonna wait for our Mac Warriors to be ready again. And we have to repair the crab and put the heatsink back into the crab. There you go. And then we can play the next mission. Can't believe that we got the Warhammer now. It's one of the most iconic mechs. I love it. So double heatsink damaged. Hmm. Take the clan heatsink. We take the regular double. Do we have big heat problems? No. We're actually quite fine here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, I, I was considering for a second to put in the, the micro lasers that we found. Maybe. Stop. Oh. Hmm. Sidewinder out of action for six days. Is that the point where we bring, um, where we bring not blockade because blockade is dead? Yes, commander. Ulysses, maybe he's the next best pilot here. Yeah, let's get some experience on our other guys. Let's go, guys. So Ulysses, um, Mockingbird, GV, Buckshot. Oh, so close to the to the warlord ability. Damn. Okay, but we're gonna play the next mission. I was saying earlier that I wanted to play the um, Three Skull Planetary Government mission, but you know what? I, I feel like this is more interesting. Pirate military units. Let's go, Two Skull Battle. Let's um, get some more stuff. I love stuff. Don't you like stuff? I like stuff. So, Ulysses on the Dragon, that's fine. We have the Wolvie, we have the Crab, we have the Marauder. And uh, we are going in! Go! So our Rotary Autocannon 5 worked out 
quite well when the enemies were either overheating or unsteady or knocked down. Apart from it, hmm, it's tough bringing the target or the, the, the weapon on target without any additional targeting systems. It's, it's difficult to play that weapon, to say the least. So with the Hyper Assault Gauss Rifle, if we find more Gauss ammo, it would be so, so good. Um, then we would outfit the Dragon and it would be even better because we shoot more projectiles at the enemies, which um, generates also more heat. Basically like, like a Gauss machine gun. Gauss have to observe pilot military units con covertly surveying military industrial targets. Okay. So pirates. Pirates, what I'm looking for is, by the way, pirate ER medium lasers. Therefore, I'm pretty happy to see a two skull pirate mission here. ER medium lasers on the pirates, or from the pirates, are getting your base melee damage up by six Command each. Interface I want to build a punch board, as you might know. All right. Keep your eyes open and watch hmm, we have the high ground. Oh, that's really good. Oh, Scoutlands. Affirmative. What do you bring? Hmm, great, that's a cougar. That's not a pirate, that's a cougar. Alrighty. What's my initiative on my other guys? I can't see. Oh, I can, here. Uh, lower than the cougar. Uh, okay, yeah, we shoot anyway. Regularly. I was considering a warlord ability here, but nah. Hello? Are you shooting me? Yeah, you're shooting me. Touch pulse. What is that? A fire starter with the Gauss. Clan Gauss. I was actually thinking... We're going up against pirates. Or didn't I read the description correct? Another fire starter. So more Clan Gauss rifles here on this map. Lots and lots of them. Double time. Let's go. Alright. Um, Ruck 5 with 40%. Sure, let's do it. Fire. Especially when we are engaging from the right side, which uh, targets the arm, and the Gauss is sitting in that arm. Or maybe we can destroy it before he shoots a single Gauss round. And the white. Okay. So Cougar needs to go. Uh, he just has a lot of firepower, and of course the fire starters. Not too afraid of the whites. Okay. For the sake of higher hit chance. Oh damn it. Hmm. Wanted to say we stay out of the forest, but we can only okay. shoot the large lasers here, so we go into the forest. Here we go. Hmm. Engine crit. Very good. Are looking up. Waiting for orders. Can you get into the fight against the cougar? No. In that case, we'll shoot at the Ten fire four. starter as well. 44 on the ear medium. Hmm. I think we don't need to save the Warlord ability. We will just kill. That's how I want to roll here. Okay, they have good initiative, but I have better initiative than the Cougar, so that's fine. Hmm, white doing the white things. Damn, I shouldn't have sold my Cougar parts. We were able to assemble one of those little ones. Mm-hmm. Nothing hit. And the last fire starter. Coming closer, that's pretty good. Oh, but not doing anything. I live to serve. So, GV. I want you to kill this. I'll race I'm dealing with the cougar later. Um, but this has to be done. Leg destroyed. Very good. He's on the ground. Critical hit. He has lower initiative now. And we can next round probably just kill him with GV. Um, Buckshot, on the other hand. I'm here. It's horribly out of position. She needs to get closer to shoot the flamers, and that's Rolling what she's doing. Oh, so, pushing down, going for the cougar, unloading completely. And I hope that we get something done. Just unsettled. Commander? Commander? Hmm, <laughs> perfect. I have a feeling that we can even split the damage. Um, I think I'm gonna shoot all of the energy weapons to the Cougar. We don't need much. We can even 
with probably two medium lasers to the fire starter. And then of course, the Gausses to the starter. Okay, unsteady. That was nice. That was quite focused on the center torso with all the laser beams there. Good job. Okay, here we go. Confirmed. Rock 5 for the win. I was... Oh, okay, I wanted to say I was hoping for a side torso destruction for pilot injury so that we have initiative for the next round. But he actually is knocked down now. That's also pretty good. Hey, GV. They will be done. Get in here. I'm going. And shoot this guy to smithereens. Wait, do you do that? No, wait. Let's try to get the salvage. <clears throat> okay. Um, maybe he stopped listening at that point when I was saying shoot him to smithereens. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Okay, reinforcements. Now the things are getting spicy. All right. I like that. Pew pew. I'm hit. Damage Had it. Minimal. Had hit. Not so great. Problem is that the white is extremely evasive. We try to punch him, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. So instead, we try All to overheat right. him. Here we go. Copy that. Firing alpha strike. Firing off the strike. She's so chill. She's like, okay, I'm gonna pull this lever now. Oh, my mech is moving forward. And now I'm pushing it. Oh, my mech is moving backward. So great. Buckshot is the best. They're shooting at me. They're shooting at me. Alright, what do we have here? A javelin. A fire starter. Something with missiles. Couldn't see what it was. Hello? What are you? Oh, it's another javelin. Okay, so there's a regular lance coming in. <sighs> okay, let's push down. No problem. We want to make cold shots? And the answer is always yes. Hmm. Okay, let's just destroy this guy. I want to take it out of the battlefield. I know, XL engine and everything. It's pretty good to have. Actually, it's really good to have. Would be so good for my Warhammer. We have one more XL clan engine here. In the white. I don't know if we can get it. I'm here. I think the Cougar was destroyed as well with um, that. Um, yeah, we're gonna fire at the guy with the best hit chance. Engaging target. That gets the job done. <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. A critical <laughs> this guy is like, oh my god, they have a Marauder too! Bail, guys, run! We're doomed! Ready for order. Hey, GV. GV really, really, really needs to make the guy unsteady or something. Can we do it? We could have used Warlord, I just realized. Eh, lower arm destroyed. I think things are going a very somewhere. bad initiative this round. Very bad. Yeah, this guy's just running. Doing nothing. Okay. Fire starter. Putting the flamers already. Nope, just the lasers. And now the white. What's he gonna do? I really hope that he is not moving too fast so that we can somehow somehow engage him trying to make a call shot maybe to his leg or something the hand is was so unfortunate worked. earlier so damn hey there don't move oh come on peter i'm here peter. good thing is and go in his back i have decent hit chance i'm really thinking about not shooting my large lasers hmm can i shoot him somewhere else uh, I can. Okay. That's what we do then. So, oh, trying to overheat him. Somehow. To make the cold shot. Oh my god, this poor guy. That looked like a critical hit. That definitely looked like a critical hit. Cool. 
Uh, I think it was another javelin up there. Uh, okay, oh, Ulysses yep. on the dragon. Get in there, buddy. Hmm. Also a multi-target. Ah, running over heat here. Damn. Okay, so we don't shoot the uh, lamer. Only the dragon breath and the ultra and the large expulse are going for. That's a rotary auto cannon. Going for the javelin in the back. Multiple targets. Ah, damn it. If the dragon breath would have hit, then he would be overheated. But okay. We have the javelin down up there. That is something. And yes, no Commander. Mockingbird can do whatever a Mockingbird does. Taking the shot. Killing fire starters. That's what she's good at. Specifically. Down. Specifically. That's a big hobby of hers. Come on, people. Let's cool. make now we are inspired. Happen. MGV got the initiative. Ah, he is turn 19. What about the crab? 18. Okay, so here's what we do. Print in the woods doesn't matter too much. Okay, we warlord, we offensive push, and we try to hit his head. Okay? I want the guy off initiative. Come on! Yes, we have it. Great. Perfect. Minus six initiative. That means Buckshot can go in. Like this. Multi-target. Oh, okay. Shooting the flamers again. Oh, well, that's harder. 45 damage to the javelin. It's also pretty nice. And this should actually be enough. Oh my god, she missed everything. What the hell? She missed everything. <laughs> I'm still uh, trying to get the uh, XL fusion. No, XL engine from the... Uh, white here. That's my goal that I'm aiming for right now. I mean, we have this dude, and if he gets, uh, if he's getting a little bit closer, closer, 18%. Man, you're really bad at that. Better stand and shoot then. No rock, but both flamers. Taking the shot. Okay. Pulse laser. Hmm? No? Guys, what's going on? This is the round where you don't hit anything. Uh, please overheat him. Yes? No? Oh, crap! Crap! I wanted to make cold shots against the guy. I couldn't. Oh well. But he's still shooting, which means that he is racking up some more heat on the mech. So he's keeping damage. the heat at least. Let's see. Yeah, he's actually going almost overheat. Here. Difficult guys. How to catch how to catch that fusion core? Firing. Not fusion core. XL engine. Mech warriors, trying to just destroy got. everything else. Just trying to get rid of the distractions right now. And there's this guy up top. Uh, at the very least, he has a pilot injury, and that's good. That will help us. And 12. Fuck shot. What no. no. You please go in here. You shoot your flamers. Please. Okay. Thank you. Didn't expect that. Good. I'm here. Now. Um. Vivi, in your face, literally, okay? Do it like this. Head hit. Uh, okay, he's unsteady. If we knock him down, we can salvage the engine. But we have to knock him down somehow. Orders. Somehow. Coordinates received. Uh, please to the leg, okay? Only with the auto cannon. I think we got it. Pilot ejected. Okay! Should give us an XL engine. That we can then build into our uh, Warhammer that we just got. Move order. 
Get wrecked. I love this setup. We need more ER medium lasers. The regular mediums, we can just Reporting ditch them. We need more range. Oh, this is so good. Yes, Commander. AGB. Yep. Let's go up here. Away. Double time. Why is he only turn 11? Did he have a head hit already? I cannot tell. Anyhow, let's go in. Let's shoot everything. Bang him. Okay, something, something big exploded. I think it was the vehicle flame and it just got boom and unloaded everything into the mech. All right, guys, that was a nice mission. I like that. Pretty cool. So, can we get our engine? Yes or no? I want to outfit the Warhammer as, as good as possible. And the Clan XL engine would be perfect for that reason. <laughs> One engine. No? Here? Head hit? Okay, it happens. So, gonna skip all of that. Flamer, clan flamer, clan launch pulse laser. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. Uh, medium pulse clan, primitive armor, beagle. Okay, clan cockpits, endo composite. Clan XL engine. Bam! We got it! We got it! Defensive gyro. It's also very nice. Do I want a defensive gyro in the Warhammer? Guardian ECM. Yeah, we need that ECM. Do we have one? I cannot remember. I think all of my mechs have an ECM and uh, most of them are stealth right now. Hmm. Here's the heatsink kit. Plan heatsink kit. We, we have one already. Don't need it. Oh, NSS, thank you. <laughs> and we take the watchdog suite, obviously. Okay, that also acts as an ECM and also gives us plus um, one defense against being hit. Also plus one accuracy with ranged weapons. Mm-hmm. Increased sight, reduced signature, and all of that. Hell yeah. That looks like a good option for our Warhammer. On top of that, a bunch of mech parts. Clan medium pulse laser. Um, clan double heat sinks. I'll take them. Mm -hmm. And crap. Okay, so it's a lot of crap, but our priority picks were so damn good. Let's build. Let's make a build with the Warhammer. Oh no, we can't do it. Damn, I just realized that the thing is still in repairs. So I think we have to wait for that. And since the video is already an hour long, I'd say that's gonna be it for today, guys. Next time we're gonna build the Warhammer and I'm looking forward to that. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you wanna support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.